previously on Ready to Die. Now I'm saying, and never hit at all. Like, I'm a nigga, I was determined. Shrooms didn't do shit, bro. Those shrooms were like, they busted, they sold. So we're gonna pick up more shrooms, we're gonna do more shrooms. I'm not gonna do all of them, of course. And then we'll go from there, bro. Like, I don't know fuck anymore. I wanna feel something. I started hitting up other plugs. I was like, who got shrooms? I need them. Expeditiously. I was looking like a cracker. But it's like, y'all gotta understand, like at the time I was working, I didn't have a lot of off days. I had planned that specific day so I could take shrooms and I could experience it, you know what I'm saying? So I had found another plug and he, he was like in Brooklyn and shit. And thank God, like the hotel we was near, like it was downtown. So like Brooklyn wasn't even that far, you know what I'm saying? It was a couple stops. So I went and linked them. I picked up the another set, another eight of shrooms, nigga. Um, it was either like blue envy or some like some penis shit like penis What do you mean by that? Bro, you gotta know like these names for the shrooms they type AO so like like you know what I'm saying don't mind that But I got and got the new shrooms now the new shrooms look deadly nigga the new shrooms was colorful The new shrooms look like some shit they just picked off in the motherfucking forest nigga. Like some some elfin motherfucking fairy tale type shit like the shrooms was looking Know what I'm saying? So I was hyped as fuck. And I knew these shits was gonna bust because like the dude looked sketchy. Know what I'm saying? The nigga handed me the bag like type different. Like it was just, I knew nigga. I was on time and like you could just tell off the energy. Like I was really holding some shit that was radiating some other shit. Know what I'm saying? Um, fast forward, niggas got to the hotel. I told my best friend, I'm like, yo, like I got another set of shrooms. He was at work at the time. I told my best friend, I got another set of shrooms. If you want to pop out to the telly, know what I'm saying? Vibe out with me and Shadi. Um, pull up. Know what I'm saying? I might have some shrooms for you. Um, but then my friend was telling me like, oh, the last time you took like, like we split it half half. You know what I'm saying? Like it was an A fee, so we. But I had more of it, so I had like two grams and she had one gram. And I don't know if that's microdosing, but for the first time, nigga, a whole like I violated. Like that's the first the first bag of shoes was supposed to hit, but it didn't. But it's not like I took a small amount. Like I took 2.2 or 2. Point something grams of fucking shrooms. And she had taken like, you know, like a couple caps and a couple stems. Now the second time around, nigga, she told me she was like, oh, you you might as well take like more so you could really feel it. So like you know what I'm saying? It won't be disappointing like the first time. Mind you, the first time I didn't feel anything at all. And I'm not, I'm not tripping. Like, y'all probably think, oh, maybe he was feeling something and he didn't know. Like, I'm not tripping, bro. I didn't feel anything. Like, I hit Shuddy up and I was like, yo, bro, like, that shit did not work. And she was telling me about how other people were telling her, oh, they did, like, how their experience and shit. And she was telling me, like, oh, I could give you another bag if you want. And I was just like, it's fine, bro. Like, it's cool, bro. Like, it's not meant to be. You know what I'm saying? But, so, the second time around, I took, I took like, I took the majority of the shrooms and it was a new ape, so I took like 2.7, nigga, like, I might have taken three, like, three grams off rip, like that, like, I put a timer and shit, we in the telly, we chilling, we just, you know, chopping it up, uh, I think my best friend shows up and shit, like, a couple minutes later, and it's like, as soon as he shows up, I'm telling him, I'm like, yo, that shit hit me, but, it's weird because shrooms is not like weed. Like you could take a pull and that shit hit you right away. Shrooms is like a progression, you know what I'm saying? Like shrooms is like, it's like this, look. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then you come down, you know what I'm saying? And don't say bro, after like 30 minutes. Yo bro, I can't describe what the fuck I'm feeling. Like I'm on the bed, right? I'm on the bed feeling deflated. I'm on the bed feeling like this, shawty, bro. I'm on the bed like, yo, why do I feel like this? And it's weird. So I took shrooms and this is what happened. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I turned into a fucking vegetable, bro. Bro, like, I was questioning mad shit. I was questioning everything. If that's the biggest fucking take that I got from shrooms, that shit makes you question everything bro there was like y'all know this painting right there was like a lamp covering my face on the mirror and my best friend was about to move it and i'm like yo 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 yo, yo bro chill don't move it bro because if you move that like i might lose my identity you know what i'm saying like it was like the attention to small detail everything that was really small became something really like big to me you know what i'm saying so like let like it gave me ocd type shit like let's say this shit was placed right here right <laughs> <laughs> 
is all of a sudden over here i'm like oh nah bro like how the fuck did that happen bro like instant transportation like ain't no fucking way i was holding on to reality bro i was holding on to my existence i was holding on to like whatever the fuck was functioning at the time when i was on shrooms all right yeah i'm not gonna lie it's been like an hour um i'm definitely tripping like i feel this shit psychedelics are real whatever <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so that shit was hitting me, and I'm, you know, I finally like it was starting to kick in, like where it was starting to like, you know, feel a little bit good. So I'm telling my friends, I'm like, yo, let's go outside because I want to see what like Times Square looks like with all the lights and shit like that. Mind you, I'm off the impression that like, you know, what I'm saying like shrooms is like weed. Like I'm about to be looking at everything, and be like, ah, oh, pretty. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought I was gonna have a great time. But it's not like it's so much more different like everything small becomes really big You become aware of everything, but you can't really focus on anything And if you focus on something for too long, like you're gonna stay stuck on that one thing I don't know like this is my experience. I don't know if this is what shrooms is actually like but I'm telling y'all my first time on shrooms So we went to Times Square, right? And y'all know they got the, like the crowds the people doing shows outside like the niggas that jump over people You never been to Times Square. You never um, seen that shit. You're not really a New Yorker or I don't fucking know nigga Yo, bro. I was just looking at everything like Like my eyes was wild dilated my friends was talking about like bro. You're you not even, even smiling. Like, smiling like nigga. I was geeked I'm the geeking, fuck nigga, up. Like, like, I didn't know what the bro. fuck like I, I couldn't comprehend what the fuck you know what I'm saying so I'm looking at the lights and shit. The lights are making me feel wild, uncomfortable. Um, we we just chilling. We just laughing, making jokes and shit. Me and my friends, bro. When I tell you, I like the people that are doing the show, bro. I was losing my fucking mind, nigga. <laughs> I was losing my mind, bro, because this nigga, bro. One of the Showtime people. This nigga lined up like twelve heads, bro. This nigga lined up like twelve heads, talking about. Yeah, everybody clap it up. Everybody turn up. Start clapping. Woo! Like trying to attract more people to the crowd. This nigga lined up like 12 heads, bro. And he was like, I'm about to jump over them. I'm about to jump over them. And I was like, I was looking at everything in slow motion. I was like, yo, bro, if he jumps over 12 people, like, like if he does a flip over 12 people, like, my, like I'm gonna lose my grip of reality. Like, like, like in that moment, that felt so important. I was like, yo, bro, I'm not gonna. I was telling my friends, and they thought I was joking, but yeah, that shit was dumb funny. I was telling them, like, yo, bro, if that one human jumps over 12 heads, like, this shit was like a, looking like a, like a monster truck derby. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was not, it was not regular. You gonna need more than a 60 inch vert to jump over these heads, bro. You're gonna need a lot of kinetic fucking force, bro. And I'm like, I'm looking at this shit like ain't no ain't fucking, no fucking way, way, boy. Ain't no fucking boy, way. Like, no if he way, does this boy. shit, like I'm gonna lose myself completely as a person. And it's weird that I attach my existence to that one jump. It was just weird. But the good thing is, it never happened. Um, he did jump over the people, but it wasn't 12. Like, like after he got the maximum crowd, cause you know they all they just trying to get money. You know what I'm saying? They trying to get, they just trying to attract more people to get more money. So when there was a like a really big crowd, like he started, rem he removed mad people, and then he jumped over like five or six which is still like crazy but it wasn't the initial 12 where it was like damn like if you jump over that many people like i'm gonna think that you're a fucking alien at this point i'm feeling uncomfortable i'm starting to dis disassociate like remove myself from my surroundings we go back inside right and yo bro i'm tweaking like at this point i'm i'm getting the 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 effects that every the common effects that everyone talks about like you know when it like i was looking at everything and everything was moving i'm gonna try to um give y'all some visuals like on the video so y'all can know what the fuck i'm talking about or y'all can get a reference now when y'all see these visuals and y'all like bro ain't no way that that's what it looked like in reality yes nigga that's what it fucking looked like everything was radiating Everything was radiating red and blue. Everything was like different colors. Everything that was standing still was moving. You know what I'm saying? It was like I was aware of matter. And they, they say like, don't look at yourself in the mirror while you're on shrooms for some reason. And I went and that sh I was geeked the fuck up, nigga. I was looking at myself in the mirror like, but I didn't look too long cause like apparently that shit like brings fear or attracts fear, right? So let's get to the motherfucking juice. Uh, By the way, sh on shrooms, 
Music sounds really fucking good. Mind you, I was going through a heartbreak, so I was sad as fuck on the inside, but I didn't want to portray that to my friends, so I was trying to keep my cool. Like, I was really trying, I was trying really fucking hard to keep my composure. It just made me, like, everything came to a realization. Like, I was like, wow, bro, like, I'm going through a breakup. I'm in a random hotel. Like, um, my friends are here, but I don't really want them to be here. Like, I don't want them to be around. I just want to be alone right now. I just want to be in my feelings. I just wanna, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna decompose. Like, I don't wanna have to put on this mask and pretend like, you know what I'm saying? So, when they left the room, I made sure to wait like a minute because I wanted to get, I wanted them to get down the hall and into the elevator so like, they wouldn't be able to hear me. You know what I'm saying? I started crying. Um, I was holding that shit in for a while long, but you know, I was just like, I didn't wanna be around anyone. I didn't want anyone to see me in such a sad state. And shrooms intensifies everything. It, it like, it amplifies everything. Everything that I was feeling, I was feeling times a thousand. But if I had started crying as soon as they left, they would have heard me. They might have came back. I didn't want that. I just didn't want to be around people. I wanted to be alone. Like, I was ugly crying. Like, yeah, y'all know when you're crying and you make it like, it's not even just crying. Like, you're, like, you're whimpering and shit. You're like, ah. <laughs> Uh, like it was like that bro like I was like crying tears of like pain from 1666 you know what I'm saying like back like back in the day pain was like I was feeling everything now you know what I'm saying and I'm glad I went through that because the results that I wanted was the results that I actually got like it, it did help me get over the heartbreak and the breakup uh, way faster like I don't uh, you know wait I feel like I would have been set back way more if I had to take it to shrooms, but since I had felt such intensity, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't gonna be as bad with one, when I was sober and I was just like chilling and I'm like just thinking about it. And Thon said, bro, um, I was crying, but at the same time, I was tweaking. There was nobody in the room. It was just me by myself in a hotel, in a big ass hotel room, fucking fried off shrooms. I'm feeling down as fuck. I was having a bad trip. Now the thing about shrooms, and your emotions is, if you let it, it will take you. You know what I'm saying? So if you're feeling bad and you think about how you're feeling bad, you're gonna start to feel worse. And if you start feeling worse, that shit's gonna keep pulling you. Like, it's just gonna keep pulling you towards that one emotion. Now, if you were to focus on happiness, it's just gonna keep, you're gonna feel more happy. It's gonna reel you into more happiness. This is what I'm noticing, right? Off the shrooms. So, I'm there sad as fuck and it's just pulling me in bro. It's just it's just reeling me in. I went from sad to sadder to the saddest nigga. I was having suicidal thoughts. I was all by myself. No one was watching me. I was going through this shit all alone, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Like like in a snapping moment I had realized like, alright yo, you're high as fuck. You're off shrooms, right? You're having suicidal thoughts. You cried like a motherfucker. Right now, you just need to chill, bro. Just relax. Like, even though I was off shrooms, I had to be the person that also took care of myself. I had to be responsible. I was like, this is what you wanted, nigga. Now, we're gonna have to get you to fucking recovery. Mind you, by that point, I was like, yo, bro, I don't wanna be on shrooms. Like, it had been an hour to two hours already. I was like, nigga, I don't wanna be on shrooms anymore. I don't wanna feel like this anymore. I'm fucking geeked up. I don't, like, I was chilling in bed. Laying down, right? And I'm like, yo, am I sweating? Like, I felt like I was sweating, bro. And when I would touch my face, it would be dry as fuck. And I'm like, bro, why am I so fucking hot? Like, it's cold in this room. The AC is fucking on, and I feel like I'm fucking sweating. So I went and I got a rag. So, like, whenever I would sweat, I would pass the rag. Nigga, I was not sweating, bro. I was just geeked the fuck up. Like, I was feeling every single fucking nerve in my pore, everything, bro. Like, I was, like, I was out of this planet. And it wasn't even really good, like... Like, I didn't have the experience where it's like, I met a bunch of fucking elves and you know, they, they, they told me like my life purpose. It was just a bad experience, bro. And I told myself like, yo, after, like, I realized that, yo, you're already high. Like, you can't go to the hospital, none of that. Like, you can't do nothing right now. Ironically, 
I had gone to the hotel so I didn't have to be home. Nigga, when I was in that hotel room by myself, all I could think about is how much I wanted to go home and how much I wanted to be in my own bed and my own comfort in my own room. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, bro, you gotta relax. Eventually, this is gonna pass over and you're not gonna feel um like you're on shrooms anymore. You're gonna be chilling. You're gonna be okay. This is me trying to comfort myself, trying to take care of myself, trying to pull myself back from, you know, the depths of fucking a bad trip. I'm saying, I was trying to just, you know, tell myself positive things. So I would start thinking positively and, you know, start feeling better. So I was just in bed chilling. I was watching um, an NBA game and I was just like, yo, let's just chill. Let's just watch some YouTube. Let's just relax. I was just relaxing, watching YouTube. And eventually I started to come down. By that time, it was already like three, four in the morning. And I was just thinking about like, okay, so I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'll be able to go home tomorrow. And don't it, bro. So I wake up the next morning and nigga, I don't speak. Like, I'm silent. I don't want to speak to anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. I just want silence, bro. I did, on God, I didn't speak that entire day. I, on God, I didn't speak for like a whole 48 hours. Like, I was silent for 48 hours. I was going through all this shit, internalizing it. I didn't want anything to do with the exterior world. Like, I just, like, silence, bro. Don't talk to me. I left the hotel and I went home. I was just thinking about everything that I had gone through, all my experience. And I was just like, this is, this is the outlook that I got from the shows. From my first time on shrooms, this is, from my first time on shrooms, I told myself a couple of things. Number one, I wanted to be completely sober. I didn't want to smoke, I didn't want to drink. Like from that, like, it's, it's ironic because I took shrooms and it made me completely sober. Like, like, I didn't want to smoke, I didn't want to drink, none of that shit. Like, I don't want to do drugs ever again. Like, that's how I was feeling, right? I wanted to take life very serious. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to take anything as a joke. If I was going to work, work hard. If I was going to go to the gym, you know, work out hard. If I was going to do YouTube, do YouTube. Like, go hard at everything. Being on shrooms made me a very serious person. I told myself, like, yo, bro, you have to take life more serious. You can't just be taking shrooms and having these experiences and, like, doing this to yourself. I know you're going through a heartbreak and it's really tough. But you have to get serious about your life. You need to stop fucking around. I don't know if I said two or three, but those are the, like, major things that I got out of it. Like, one, I want to be sober. Two, I want to take life more serious. And three, like, I just wanted to heal. I just wanted to feel better. I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Like, start connecting, you know what I'm saying? Because by that point, I feel like I had lost myself. And I was really disconnected from myself. Like, sure, I was working out. And I was, like, in one of the prime physiques in my life. I was in the best shape. But I wasn't mentally there. And I wasn't, like, loving myself the way that I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have the confidence that I wanted to. Stuff like that, right? I got home. I was just, like, taking everything very seriously serious bro because like it just made me realize like this life shit is not a joke like sure this is a, a physical experience and you're supposed to be here to like you know but like if this is gonna be a physical experience like let me take it serious let me enjoy it like let me go hard on this shit like, who knows the next time you might be born as a human like the next time you're born you might be born as a fucking like a spritz bar, you, know? you might be born as a sticker and just be placed somewhere and never looked at ever again why don't you visit me yeah. Yeah. So I can feel at home